All right, coming up next, a featherweight matchup between Max Holloway and Alexander Volkanovsky. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side and on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. This series oh. didn't like that left hand. He's got one here. level guard pass there as he moves into half. But now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the And he's up. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hit this. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. All right, so he postures up nicely done. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack with arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nicely work, done. Work, work. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. He's having his way with him here. All right, well, both fighters are pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All over you this initial attack. Great job with your defense, but we got to do better. I want you to put him on the defense. That means we All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, here we go with our second round. It is Max Holloway and Alexander Volkanovsky. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's not throwing it. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Hicks was in an elbow for good measure. Oh, straight right. Oh, 
visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. 36 total strikes have landed for Max Bless Hollowers. Well, a lot of connections, obviously, DC, and landing with 54% accuracy against Alexander Volkanovski. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop him. John, stop him. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Volkanovski gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Good work there on the feet by Max Holloway. We'll see if he can close the show now. Max Holloway's looking to finish. Max Holloway. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very fast. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here, and starting to find himself. Oh. Oh. Continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target. Whoa! He's out! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of it. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 39 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexander the Great Bonaventure! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And it would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.